unable to pay rent and buy groceries. New tonight, we're hearing from St. Augustine's University employees sharing the hardships they're facing as they continue to wait for multiple paychecks. Only on WRAL, Aaron Thomas spoke with employees who now haven't been paid in nearly a month, Aaron. Yeah, we're talking about a dire situation here, Ashley. According to our reporting, February 9th is the last time that these employees that work at this university were paid. They are still waiting from paychecks from February 23rd, as well as this past Friday, which would, which would have been March 8th. One employee says that she's down to less than $60 in her bank account right now. Spring break is underway on the campus of St. Augustine's University. Financial challenges making it difficult for employees and students who work there to enjoy themselves. WREL spoke with employees who wanted to remain anonymous out of fears of retaliation from the governing body of the HBCU. One who's worked for SAU for under a year says, I haven't been able to buy necessary essentials like groceries, haven't been able to buy basic stuff like toilet paper, and I've had to use money out of my savings and I'm behind on my rent because of it. That same employee says the university shared staff could expect to be paid one of the two late checks on March 11th. She checked her bank account during our phone interview and shared the following. My bank account says $59 right now. It's a little unsettling. Olivia Huckabee is disturbed by the financial situation at her alma mater. The dedicated alumna who lives out of state inspired to help her beloved institution. All um, alumni chapters for the university um, is running the 1867 challenge where you can donate $18.67, which was the year that we're founded, directly to the alumni chapter to help support um, those fundraising efforts. And you can hear from that graduate of uh, SAU that every little bit helps at this point. We are still waiting to hear from university leaders to find out how many employees are still waiting on their paychecks and when they can expect them. Ashley? Oh, we certainly uh, wish them all the best in that fundraising effort. Aaron Thomas, live in Raleigh. Thank you.